NHS Scotland is on course to become a world leader in quality of care. This means delivering safe care which is centred around the needs of every patient. The film you're about to see is about the vital importance of good communication and shows how quite simple misunderstandings can easily lead to catastrophe. Warfarin is medicine used for thinning the blood. It's used, for instance, for people who've had blood clots and in some heart conditions. Warfarin aims to prevent clots, but it is important to be sure that the blood doesn't become too thin. An unintentionally high dose of warfarin will make the blood dangerously thin. Warfarin is known as a high alert drug. That means it is more likely to be associated with harm than other medications. It is crucial to get the dose right, and also warfarin may interact with other medicines, alcohol and foods. In this story, the patient, Mr Coogan, has been prescribed warfarin because of a clot in his leg, a deep venous thrombosis, or DVT. He has just started warfarin, so needs his blood checked more regularly. He is living at his daughter's house, and the nurse from the practice is visiting to take a blood sample. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, this is the same thing again, eh? That's right. As before. Okay. That's great. And Thank just remember you. that somebody will be giving you a ring from the practice at five today, yes. about five o'clock. So try to keep your phone free if Thank you can. Thank you very much. That's okay. Good, yes. That's lovely. And also, if you remember you. to take your medicine after six o'clock. Do that. Yes. Six Thank you very much. Now the blood sample will go to the laboratory where it is checked. The results will determine what dose Mr. Coogan must take tonight. It is important to take warfarin medication after 6 p.m. to allow time for the blood to be tested and the correct dose prescribed. Hello? Hello. Is that Mr Coogan? Yes, 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 yeah. Hello, Mr Coogan. It's a nurse phoning from the practice. I've got your blood result. Oh, very good, very good. Um. You, you're of a little bit higher. Your oh. INR is 4.5. 4.5. So you have to take a little bit less of your warfarin tonight. Okay, dear. The dose, the dose tonight is 2.5 milligrams. 2.5. Okay. Milligrams, yeah. Right. So, um, have you got enough of your tablets? Uh, quite a number, yes. That's yes, good. Yes. Okay, and you've got your yellow book. You. I certainly have. Okay. You, Writing it down in your yellow book then? All down here, bright and white. That's good. Great stuff. So your blood test will be checked again in three days' time. Okay, lass. And you stay on that same dose, 2.5 tonight two, and two for the next point two... 2.5, okay. Yeah, until the nurse comes back. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, Mr Coogan. Yeah. Okay then. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. All patients on warfarin are given a record book to keep a note of the results. Now Mr. Coogan records the results in his yellow book. Now just watch closely what happens here. Six o'clock. It's the time I've got these organised. Ten. Get my book out. Mm, Four point five. Here you are. That's one milligram. Right. One milligram. That's one milligram. Right. This is three milligrams. Three milligrams, okay? That that makes it four. Eh? Come on, get that. That four. In a minute. 
that's four milligrams. Now is it five milligrams here? Five, where is it? Here we are. That's five milligrams. Mm -hmm. Five milligrams. Four milligrams is a five milligram. Right, which makes it up to four point five. Five milligrams, alright? So I've got this. One, two, three. Remember he won't have another blood test for three days. How can we make this safer? Mr. Coogan's helpful friend has been to the pharmacist to collect his medication. I'll pop in with your medicines. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank they'll you very go through much. And I'll, take them I'll, out close, the bag, I'll yeah. close this door, okay? Right. A recent survey by the Royal Pharmaceutical Society of Great Britain found that only one in ten of people over 65 understood what their medicines were for or how they treated their conditions. Several studies have identified adverse drug events as the most frequent single source of healthcare mishaps. Okay, well, uh, right Andy, here's what I've got from the chemist for you, um, Maravan tablets. Maravan? I think there's a mistake made here. Oh, I mean, my tablets are all warfarin. Warfarin? Uh, warfarin, yeah. All I've right. never heard that before. Uh, well, I mean, the tablets are all orphaned I've got here and I've got all uh, boxes. Well, look inside and see what it says. I hope it's right because uh, uh, patient information leaflet. It says warfarin sodium or uh, what's it used for? Well, it's used for Thinning your blood, I think. Yeah. Have you re have you read this? Or you haven't had. I haven't read that yeah. because yeah. I didn't have to. I was just going the instructions. Very you know, small writing. There. Okay, Andy, have you got anything written down about your medicine? Well, the only thing I've got here is this the yellow book. All oh, right. This yellow card, you know. Well, have a wee yeah. look at that. And see what it says. It might say Maravan in there. Uh, anticoagulant therapy. Do you know what that is, Andy? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know that language at all. What have we got here? We've got doctor's name and address, condition requiring anti whatever it is, duration of treatment 12M. Do you know what that is, Andy? 12 no. <laughs> Not a bit. Maybe desired therapeutic range, two to three. That's totally meaningless to me. Clinic and yeah. Oh, there is, that's what I need. Uh, treatment with warfarin, you're right. Warfarin yeah, yeah. tablets. Anticoagulant treatment with warfarin, but it doesn't say warfarin sodium like that. What else have we got? Oh, crumbs, a lot of small writing, hey? Yeah. Did somebody explain this to you? Not a soul. Not a soul. Uh, I think I better just wait till the morning and go back to the chemist. Oh, thank you. I think that's very wise, yes. you know. I really it's, do. it's a an irritation, but I'll do that because I don't want to be responsible for you taking Some of the language yeah, is beyond thing. me altogether, you know. Yeah. Now, I'd like you to think about Mr Coogan's experience. It's very likely that as a result of taking too much warfarin, he'll be admitted to hospital when his blood is checked in three days' time. How can we make this safer? Let's have a closer look at each stage. Did Mr. Coogan understand what the nurse was telling him? He says he's writing the results down in black and white in the yellow book, but as we saw it, he's doing nothing of the kind. Always check patient's understanding. At the end of this conversation, ask him to repeat back instructions. This will give you a chance to make sure everything's clearly understood. This simple procedure takes seconds and will often flag up misunderstandings. It is vitally important when discussing doses of medicine and results, particularly over the phone.
Mr Coogan has got the INR and dose of warfarin mixed up. He'd recorded them in the wrong columns. Do you think Mr Coogan needs to know his INR result as well as his dose? Is having two sets of numbers confusing? There are, of course, patients who are well able and should be encouraged to keep a note of the results, but every person is different. Think carefully about the individual and their ability to hear and to understand. Remember, many older people are not used to thinking in metric measures. They may not be familiar with words like micrograms, milligrams and 0.5. It's really easy to get confused by decimal points when you've been used to thinking in terms of halves and quarters. Remember, having different coloured tablets doesn't always help. Maybe in this case, it would be safer to only prescribe a one milligram dose. Then he only has to count out the required number of tablets to match the dose, and he doesn't need to be concerned about different boxes and colours of medicines. Mr Coogan has just swallowed down nine milligrams of warfarin. Of course, the correct dose should have been 2.5 milligrams. This is a very dangerous mistake. The words used in all patient information and record books must be clear and simple to understand. The language used in Mr Coogan's yellow record book is confusing and too medical. Desired therapeutic range. There are not many people taking warfarin who will understand this. As we saw, it wasn't understood by the patient or his friend. This can lead to errors and increase the chances of things going wrong. Can we expect people to understand there are different names for the same drug? Mr Coogan and his friend worried about the different drug names. When this happens, people sometimes think the doctor or pharmacist has made a mistake. This can result in people not taking their medicines, phone calls to practices and pharmacists, and all sorts of confusion for staff, family and carers, which could easily be avoided. Carers play an important role in medicine management. Often it's family, friends and carers who are in charge of the medicines. Remember to include them in all discussions when appropriate. It's very important they're well informed, particularly when medicines and doses are changing. Think about each individual and their capacity to understand. How able are they to understand and manage their medicine? Keep things safe by making all communications clear and very simple. So always remember, it's always important to use clear language. We've seen in this film how easy it is to make a simple mistake and how devastating the results can be.